Welcome back, Daniel. Thank you so much for having me, Brandon. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on in the Guardian ecosystem. But Daniel, can you explain the ServiceNow application that was launched just last week and what they're trying to achieve with it? Yeah, so um, you know the ServiceNow app that's that's live in in the ServiceNow marketplace, which is pretty cool to see, to be honest. What they're trying to achieve is really what we had set out for in the very beginning when we were creating the Guardian. Again, just as a reminder for those that may not know what, what the Guardian is, you know, we we open sourced it together with the HBAR Foundation and Swirls Lab back in uh, October 2021. Actually, was the first release. And we wanted to empower standard registries and project developers and project proponents in the carbon market industry to be able to create methodologies of their choice or maybe even choose from a list of open source methodologies and be able to create a real world digital assets. In this case, it's environmental assets. So again, what ServiceNow is doing is uh, they deployed an app in their marketplace for the renewable energy credit market. So for any ServiceNow customer that wants to issue renewable energy credits, they can do so based on a methodology that ServiceNow deemed appropriate. It's actually based off of the open source methodology that uh, we uh, Envision Blockchain first developed and put out there, some of the first iterations with the Guardian it's uh, based on the you know, um, international renewable energy credit standard. So, yeah, super super happy to see ServiceNow again empowering the um, you know businesses that want to be able to purchase renewable energy credits. Now we know that ServiceNow has some of the biggest companies in the world as customers, but you know who are the targeted users of the app, and can you give us any names of potential customers that might be interested? Sure. So. I'm not sure if I'm out, uh, able to say specific names. I know that everybody always wants to see the names. There's a pretty big pilot, which is happening right now. And I think, I don't know officially, but probably by uh, COP28, there's going to be a whole series of announcements, which is not that far. Probably uh, at the end of November, early, early December is when the uh, conference is going to be. But I could tell you that there's a large pilot going on with a company that's providing solar panels along with a very large telecommunication company. So probably I'm giving more than I can, but just for the sake of being able to say something that is backed by what's actually happening. So very large telecommunication company um, is looking at creating renewable energy credits from um, a company that's providing solar panels. The company that's providing solar panels, just to kind of give an idea of how things are working in the pilot, is that uh, they're a customer of ServiceNow um, and they're going to be using the application, again, like I said earlier, to be able to deploy this open source methodology that's based on the IREC standard. So they're acting as a standard registry, if you will, uh, issuing the credits to their customers. And again, one of their customers is this large telecommunication company. Oh, that's exciting to hear. I know giving specific names can be tough at times, but we'll find out in due time. It's coming. So it seems like the Guardian ecosystem is getting all the parts and pieces in place that needs to happen. Are there any other DLT refi ecosystems on other networks that are on par with and can compete with what's been created on top of Hedera? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great question. And I think the best way to look at it is the Guardian and the Guardian community, uh, Envision Blockchain and the others that are in the space, we're doing it a little bit differently than what the other refi ecosystems are doing, right? So obviously the other refi ecosystems are leveraging the power that DLT has with regards to immutability. Uh, we're doing it on top of Hedera, obviously, for the use of their Hedera topics, which is a really great way to organize information, make it searchable. The ledger itself is immutable. You know, everyone knows about the Hedera high throughput. That's all good. But as far as the features are concerned, we're doing it a little bit differently. To my understanding, other other refi applications, if you will, that are across different ecosystems and different networks, they have a specific business model, which is different than the business model that the Guardian provides. So 
again, what the Guardian is providing is the ability to have this massive open source library of different methodologies that exist. Um, I know that there's a goal to have the largest open source methodology that exists. I think that the number is somewhere around 300 and we are getting pretty close to that number. The reason for that is because we don't want to push a specific standard down the throats of the users. We believe that there is a free market. We believe that there should be the ability for um, project developers to be able to choose which methodology best fits their actions. And the buyers, more specifically, the buyers of these offsets should be able to purchase an offset that they can verify, that they can trust, again, by the use of the DLT that we have here in Hedera, but they should be able to choose what they want based on the actual attributes, not based on a specific brand name that's in the industry. So we're really trying to promote the free market, we're really trying to promote um, you know, open source, where, again, just to be more specific, others in the space, they have a similar image in providing DLT and providing offsets, but there are a very specific um, methodologies, if you will, that, uh, you know, is, is not necessarily catering to the free market. Well, it sounds like you have a really sound strategy there. What can we expect from the Guardian ecosystem within the next few years? It's a good question. It's something that we're, we're always pondering. And um, while there's no right answer, because Literally, if you take a look at the roadmap that we have, we take it about six months at a time because the industry is shifting like crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what we thought was going to be two years ago is not the same as what it is now. So it's kind of hard to say that far into the future. But I could tell you that we're looking at the voluntary carbon market in the near term, um, right? Because it's not um, it's not a regulated market just yet. I think that it's important to make sure that for features specific within the Guardian, we, we are like constantly aiming to make it easier for policy developers to be able to create policies at ease. Taking, um, I think that we've done a good job of taking what takes months down to a couple of weeks. I know that our team at Envision can design and develop a policy or a methodology is what we call it, a digital MRV. We've taken it down to about a couple of weeks, taken in terms of designing and building. And I think that the tools that we have on our roadmap allow for, um, in the future, anyone that can draw lines on PowerPoint or, or, or put something into an Excel spreadsheet to be able to create policies, which again, fosters the ability to have this largest open source methodology that, that exists within ReFi, um, you know, we're really trying to cater to the policy creators. Well, Daniel, congratulations on the success we've seen come out of the Guardian thus far, but I really do think this is just the beginning. Brandon, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much and appreciate the kind words. I'm now posting these interviews of Hedera Builders independently to my channel. The community, influencers, and media outlets are free to use this content to spread the word on what's being built on Hedera. Once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to go to my channel and search for whatever topic or team you're interested in to find more information. Or you'll be able to get the most recent Hedera news by watching the latest HBAR Weekly update. So check them out.